Hi guys, it's George here again at Optics Warehouse and today just gonna not talk about any products in particular but just something that all us shooters have to deal with and that's ballistics, importance of them, the uses of them, things like that and if you guys find it interesting let me know down below and we can make more videos like this type of thing. So what I want to start off with is or well, the reason I'm making this video is because of scopes like the ATN here or the PARV DS35 or even the older ATN X Site 4. They've all got ballistic calculators or that capability in them. So what does that mean? So your ballistics, basically, it's the nerdy math stuff that happens to your projectile as it's going through your barrel and once it's left the barrel. And that's internal, external ballistics. So internal happens inside the rifle external once it's left the muzzle. So for these ballistic calculators, what do we need to know in order to set them up right and get the most out of them? So you need to know the weight of your projectile. So for example, in this air gun here, I use a um, 2 2 pellet that's 18.13 grains. Most projectiles are measured in grains, whether that's um, rifles, archery, stuff like that, we all use grains. Don't know why, but that's the way we do it. The next one you need to know is your muzzle velocity. So typically you do that with a chronograph and put the muzzle fairly close, shoot through it. Usually you do need to do more than just one shot. You want an average, so you need your speed, basically. That's what your FPS is, your muzzle velocity. Then you need your ballistic coefficient. What your ballistic coefficient is, is the ability of your projectile to overcome air resistance or air drag, um, or the friction created as it travels through the air. It's always measured in a decimal point. Uh, you will never see like a one, because that would mean it just came straight out the barrel and just kept going. It never, you know, like a laser pointer as opposed to a projectile with an arc. Um, for, for example, the ballistic coefficient of the pellets I'm using uh, is 0 0.035. Um, the way you find that out, Google it. You can do a mathematical formula, but you need to know your cross section, your overall mass, and over, say, especially air gun pellets, where there's so much variance in a tin, it's not worth it. Google it and get something fairly close to it. Um, and then every manufacturer of for you powder burners will state the ballistic coefficient that they are using. So, or the ballistic coefficient their projectiles are capable of. So it's easy to look up. The next thing you need to know is scope height. Now, the way you measure that is it's not how high your mounts are. It is from the center of your barrel to the center of the scope. Now, what that does, obviously, is it just lets the little computer know how high and where those the line of sight and the trajectory are going to intersect so it can tell you where to aim. That's why you need to know that. All this stuff as well that I'm saying, it's applicable for things like chair gun, uh, strelock, all the other ballistic calculators you'd need to know this stuff for. Ballistic calculators, how accurate are they? They're usually pretty good, especially the further you go out. Um, it's when you're in close where Things like your scope height, things like that, are all slightly different from maybe you just rounded up a little bit. Um, but it's at though that extreme close that you notice the difference. So air gunners tend to get the short end of the stick there and notice how useful or unuseful they are. Um, if you've ever, you FT guys, if you've ever used Strelock or Chair Gunner and for doing your holdovers, not your holdovers, for your dialing, you'll know that it's always your ones in close that you've got to check the most. Same thing with the scopes as well, it's the ones in close. Now, things like the ATN here, you can set a true distance to change that. Um, it does make it a bit easier. Um, so the importance of knowing all this stuff is essentially it tells you what your projectile's doing downrange, where it's traveling, how high it's going, how far it's going, how fast, what energy it's carrying down, and what your effective ranges could be. Um, I know this has just basically been me having a little bit of a rant about 
ballistics. I hope you guys found it interesting. Uh, if you've got any questions about this sort of stuff, or any advice for that matter, like, comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye-bye.